good morning oh my goodness i'm literally so ashy i'm about to do my skincare it is currently 7 18 i'm about to head out to go to the gym i it's the third day of ramadan and this is like kind of a newer routine for me well not really but today is the first day that i'm going to be going to the gym in the morning um i've been going in the evening i'll see how i feel i've been doing i've been walking every single day for like an hour in between my work blocks and then i've been going to the gym and then coming home like 20 minutes before iftar taking a shower and then breaking my fast um but today i want to see how i feel working out in the morning honestly the past two days fasting has been so easy i feel like just because like the days are shorter i feel like i'm eating breakfast and dinner hydration has been pretty good too like i don't feel dehydrated at all the workouts that i've been doing have been workouts that don't really make me sweat so i'm not doing like a high intensity cardio like i'm just like walking today for example is a leg day but i just use lighter weights and i don't know i don't really break a sweat right now i'm gonna start getting ready my sister's also getting ready as well and yeah we're gonna go to the gym and then i'm just gonna jump straight into work and yeah what are y'all doing okay let's get ready because my sister is getting ready and i can hear her and she's gonna be annoyed because i'm not ready yet all black per huge look who took forever to get ready Stop. she got those saudi mess those are literally the saudi bathroom slippers <laughs> can't lie i just woke up from a nap so good morning again i was so tired i worked for hours straight i don't even know 10 11 12 1 I got majority of my work done. I started editing a video and I just couldn't, I couldn't pay attention to the video. I was so sleepy. I don't even think I fully fell asleep. It's currently 3.41, but let me tell you guys what I've been doing to get my Quran in. My surah of the month, by the way, is surah Yusuf. While I was working, I normally like to take breaks from my work because I can't work four hours just like straight. I took, I think two breaks. And during those two breaks, I decided to practice my Quran. But I think now I'm gonna go for a walk just to kind of like wake myself up a little. But yeah, Asad is in 50 six minutes so we're gonna go on a quick hour walk and just kind of listen to a podcast write ideas um and things like that also i want to show you guys the video that i'm editing right now i filmed it last week also i want to show you guys the quran that i've been reading this is my english translation this i read in the mornings um and in the evenings before i go to bed and then i use my ipad because we're memorizing like this is so nice because you just hold down the ayat and this one took me a while to kind of memorize um but you just click play and this is one of my favorite reciters as well and if you want to like memorize it and it's kind of taking you a while to like memorize a specific ayah you just press it down and you click repeat so what happens is it repeats the same ayah again and again and again and again and that's been helping me memorize it also i would like to add that yes my parents did put me in duxi when i was younger and i did do the surah before like i fully memorized the surah before but i completely forgot it like i haven't been in duxi since i was a kid and it's like when you're a kid and you're in duxi it would be you memorize a surah you pass it and or you memorize like half a surah a few pages of surah um and you pass it to the teacher fully memorized and you never see that page again and i feel like it's not the most effective way because obviously as a kid like you'll memorize it just to memorize it and go about your day but i feel like we're trying to like re-memorize as an adult um and i'm not gonna lie i did finish the quran technically i did finished memorize the quran but like i forgot so many surahs and then i think i like low-key skipped some surahs when i was younger because i just didn't want to go to duxi anymore um which which is kind of crazy um but yeah we're redoing it we're re-memorizing the quran we're adults we have responsibilities this is on no one but myself so um yeah i just thought i would share you, that with you guys so yeah hopefully inshallah i'll be able to completely have it memorized by the end of ramadan that is my goal i'm also studying the english version of it so i go through the translation i read it i'm currently reading this one but i have the other 
clear Quran, which is one that I've been using for a really long time. It's been my favorite, so let me show you guys. This is one that I've been using for a really long time. This is the one that I just love. This It's so clear. It's so easy to follow. It's so amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to read both and see which one I prefer. The other Quran I ordered from the Batul collection website, which all the funds go to um, the people of Gaza. So that's nice i'll make sure to link everything in the description for you guys if i remember if i don't which i tend to do a lot let me know in the comments and i will link everything including the quran app that i use so let me know if you guys if i don't do it get on me be like Baja, where is it okay i'm gonna get ready for my walk now here is my walk fit just something i literally threw this on it's like 60 something degrees but i don't like to be even the slightest bit chilly because then i just think about how i'm cold the whole time so i just pulled on this pullover hoodie <laughs> don't mind these okay it's real cold in my space but um i'm gonna put on some socks in my new balances and we're gonna go oh and my little fanny pack since you guys are coming with me going on a 30 to 60 minute walk every single day not only keeps me healthy not only does it allow me to get my steps in but it also helps me connect with nature connect with god and i also love spending this time educating myself coming up with ideas and it overall just makes me feel so good After breaking my fast with my family, I decided to quickly clean up my space. This really only takes me about 10 minutes. This is a huge part of just like my productivity routine because the next day I get to wake up to a clean space. I feel motivated, I feel inspired, and it just keeps my mind clear. During Ramadan, it is so important for me to prioritize the work that requires the most focus so I could do it right after I have my suhoor in the morning because after a certain time in the day, focus is gone. The focus has left the chat. And so this is work like editing, writing, or anything that actually needs my focus. Look at how beautiful the clouds are. Because it was Jum'a, ah, because it was Friday, after taking a shower, I put on my best fit and I just decided to do a little bit of Quran study after praying Duhur. I really want to start incorporating actually studying Surah Kaf. And then I entered my second work block of the day. I like to work in blocks because it helps me stay focused. hi guys it is it is the next day i haven't seen you guys since yesterday i don't even know if i saw you guys at iftar time but 
It is currently Saturday and it is 1.53 p.m. I have my makeup done because I was filming some content. Yesterday was a really, really, really hard day for me. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't hungry. I don't really get hungry throughout the day. I don't get thirsty either. But yesterday, I was fatigued fatigue i was so fatigued i literally could not move number one my period is coming up i feel like every time i'm vlogging my period is coming up or i'm on my period no last vlog i wasn't but i feel like i always talk about it anyway it's not tmi i don't care to talk about it and because of that i feel like i have to have a lot more grace towards myself especially because it's Ramadan. and so if you guys are struggling with like productivity and you guys are like oh i need to do this and i need to do that it is completely okay to have low energy and to not be active one day and the other like you can't really expect yourself to be so consistent with everything to be perfect like as much as you want to be perfect in this month of ramadan it's it's not possible and so just have a little bit more grace with yourself and so yesterday you guys saw that i think that's was that the last time i saw you guys we did editing we went to the gym i came back home i did some more work and then i plopped on the couch um and i just kind of read a book and then i painted with my sister this is why i told you guys like before ramadan started um instead of trying to do everything just focus on being really good at a few things or focus on doing a few things yeah so that's kind of it like today it's saturday i didn't go to the gym usually i do go to the gym on saturday and it is sweaty saturday but i'm just okay with my schedule not being how it is and that really used to stress me out in the past like if i didn't go to the gym i would feel really awful or if my day didn't go how i planned it just i was not happy but i think the thing that helps me stay really productive is getting my main tasks done first thing in the morning when i do have the most energy and so for me that's really just like anything work related where i need to actually put my focus on something because after a certain period of time i can't focus like my focus is gone my focus is not in the room um and so it's just like prioritizing that and getting that in my schedule and being okay with everything else not going exactly as planned. I think I missed two days of the gym this week and I'm probably not gonna go tomorrow, but I've definitely been doing my walks. You guys have seen that. Um, I've been loving this left side of my face lately. Like my right side is like my snatch side. It's like, you know, but then this side is kind of like, but yeah, I wanna show you guys what I got from but the Batool collection. Um, I have a few emails to get back to as well. I wanna finish up editing so that I can send this video to Dua as well. Like the video's done editing, there's just like a few things, a few overlays that I wanna do and then I'm gonna send it to her. Um, and it's gonna go up tomorrow along with the newsletter going out either tomorrow or on Monday. I don't know how have you guys been doing how have you guys been keeping up with ramadan i feel like the fasting part is so easy it's like eating breakfast and dinner like that's really what it feels like got a little bit of editing to do i want to make a few more tiktoks and i will see you guys in a bit when i'm showing you guys the outfits that or the outfit that i got Why are all my batteries dying right now? Like I have three camera batteries and I charge every single one of them while I'm using, I charge the other two while I'm using one. And then when I pull one out, I put in the one that I just used, but they're all like dead. Okay guys, for some reason my camera just keeps dying and I don't like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put on the outfit. And I'm gonna show you guys. I'm actually going out to get iftar today. Like everybody's just been busy today, so nobody really got the chance to like cook anything. So we're gonna go to Ido, and I know that's not like the best food option, but with like my brothers coming, like it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Like everybody wants something different. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm cool with like whatever everybody else is gonna eat. I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you guys. So give me like give me like one second, guys. It is so stinking cute only thing is like look at the arms i guess it's not like the worst length ever but i want it to be like here that's my problem but other than that i think i'm a fan i think i really like it i'm like hesitant on taking the tags off because i'm not sure about the length of the shirt
The scholars say think of your personality traits like seeds that still remain in their soil. They're waiting for the rain of revelation and the light of faith to nourish them so that they can become beneficial crops. Every personality trait has the potential to grow into a virtuous quality, or it could become the opposite.